Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande and today we are going to discuss about bisection method. We will discuss concept of bisection method. Consider f of x equal to 0 is the continuous function. For this particular equation, we have to find out root. So to find out the root of the equation f of x equal to 0. Now, here I have shown this particular point is nothing but root of this curve. Root is nothing but that point of the curve or that point which satisfies the value of the equation. Means by substituting that value in the equation we will get f of x equal to 0. Consider the intervals in such a way that it will satisfy intermediate value theorem. Intermediate value theorem is nothing but if f of x is the continuous function in the interval x0, x1 and if f of x0 and f of x1 produces opposite sign change then there has to be at least one real root in the interval x0, x1. So let us consider that there is a point x0. If we substitute the value of x0 in the given function f of x we will get answer as a negative. Consider another point x1 which will be substituted in the equation and we will get answer as a positive. The important condition is that f of x0 into f of x1 should be less than 0. Let the intervals are x0, x1. The formula for bisection method is x2 equal to x0 plus x1 divided by 2. After that calculate f of x2. Now there are two parts. One is if f of x2 is positive and another is if f of x2 is negative. Suppose f of x2 is positive then what we have to do? We have to replace x1 with x2 value in the interval. So therefore for next iteration instead of writing x0, x1 we have to write x0, x2. Again consider that if f of x2 is negative then replace x0 with x2 value in the interval. So new interval will be x2, x1. Steps to solve problem of bisection method. Step number 1. Choose x0 and x1 in such a way that it should follow intermediate value theorem. Important condition is that f of x0 should be less than 0 and f of x1 should be greater than 0 and f of x0 into f of x1 is less than 0. For example, suppose I substitute any value of x in the given function f of x and I got a value of f of x is negative then that particular value of x will be treated as x0 and remaining value will be x1. Let desired accuracy is denoted by epsilon. Suppose in the problem, if it is mentioned that correct up to 4 digits, then value of epsilon equal to 0 0.0001, that is 4 digits after decimal point. If it is mentioned that correct up to 3 digits, then value of epsilon equal to 0 0.001, that is 3 digits after decimal point. Total number of iterations required is given by a formula n greater than or equal to log to the base e mod of x1 minus x0 divided by epsilon that is desired accuracy whole divided by log 2 to the base e. Remember that while putting this value or formula in the calculator log e is nothing but ln. Next step is find the new approximation by the formula x2 equal to x0 plus x1 divided by 2. Then you have to find f of x2. Now we will remember rule as if f of x2 is negative then instead of writing value of x0 in the next iteration you have to write their value of x2. That is new interval for next iteration will be x2, x1. If the value is positive then you have to write value of x2 in place of x1 in the next iteration. So, new interval will be x0, x2. 
let us solve first problem using bisection method find real and positive root of the following equation correct up to four decimal places so given equation is f of x equal to x cube minus 2x minus 5 from step number one we have to follow intermediate value theorem as it is mentioned that in the problem we have to calculate real positive root so therefore we will start from x equal to 0 so substitute x equal to 0 in the given equation we will get answer as minus 5 if we substitute x equal to 1 we will get minus 6 now here intermediate value theorem is not satisfied so we will move further f of 2 is minus 1 f of 3 is 16 now if you carefully observe here you will get the value of f of 2 is minus 1 and value of f of 3 is plus 16. One value is minus, one value is plus, means intermediate value theorem is achieved. The important condition is that f of x0 should be less than 0 and f of x1 should be greater than 0. Now, as value of f of 2 is minus 1, so this 2 will be considered as x0, value of f of 3 is 16, so this 3 will be considered as x1 which will follow intermediate value theorem. Therefore, inter by using intermediate value theorem, the intervals are x0 equal to 2 and x1 equal to 3. As it is given that correct up to 4 decimal places, so therefore here we have taken value of epsilon equal to 0 0.0001. Substituting all the values will get total number of iteration required. The answer for this is 13.28 means nearly equal to 14 iterations we have to calculate. Formula for bisection method is x2 equal to x0 plus x1 divided by 2. Let us revise rule again. If f of x2 is negative, then you have to write value of x2 in place of x0 for next interval. If it is positive, then you have to write value of x2 in place of x1 for next interval. Based on the formula and condition, we will prepare a table. First column is n, that is number of iterations. Second is x0, initial approximation. x1, another initial approximation. Formula for bisection method, x2 equal to x0 plus x1 divided by 2. Calculation of f of x2, that is substitute value of x2 in the given equation and remark. Now here, while putting all these values in the calculator, we will represent as x0 equal to a, x1 equal to b, x2 equal to x0 plus x1 divided by 2, that is c equal to a plus b divided by 2. Important condition is that you have to keep bracket here, otherwise answer will be wrong. f of x2 that is d equal to c cube minus 2c minus 5. We will substitute here value of x0 and x1. So value of x0 is 2, x1 is 3. By putting this we will get value for x2 is 2.5. Now here value of f of x2 is positive means you have to write value of x2 in place of x1 in next iteration. This is second iteration. Here we have written value of x2 in place of x1. Again third iteration. Again in case of second iteration as this value is positive. So put value of x2 in place of x1 for next iteration. So this is, this is fourth iteration. Now in case of fourth iteration, the value is negative. So you have to write value of x2 in place of x0 in the next iteration. So it will be as follows. This is sixth iteration, seventh iteration, eighth iteration, ninth iteration and tenth iteration. Eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, and fourteenth iteration. Now, as it is mentioned that correct up to four 
digits after decimal point if we observe in iteration number 13 after decimal point we got 2.0945 so here also we will get 2.0944 as accuracy is reached it is achieved so therefore answer for this equation is 2.09481 I think it will be clear to you. If you have any doubt, then please feel free to ask me. Thank you for listening this video.